Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this video. Before we make a start on it, I just want to make a quick announcement. I've been lucky enough to be selected to play for the third time in the Eve Merton Dreams Trust Charity Legends football game at the Eco Power Stadium. The event sponsored by the Eco Power Group on the 7th of May 2022 at the Eco Power Stadium. Tickets are available. Contact me on my socials if you want any. Donations will be greatly appreciated. Link to the donation pages in the description down below. And also a big thank you to CK Decorators for a personal sponsor for me. Great decorators. If you need any decorating work done, please get in touch with them. Links to their socials are in the description down below. It's going to be a good game. Get yourself down there. But for now, let's get on with this video. Hi guys, welcome to this match day vlog, Doncaster Rovers versus Bolton. Rovers, somehow, still in with a chance of survival. I don't know how we've done that. Five points away, 12 points to play for. Stranger things have happened. Bolton, on the other hand, a very, very good first season back in League One. Just missing out on playoffs, but they'll definitely be one to watch next season. I have no doubt about that. But although they've got nothing to play for, I hope that they're on the beach, but I don't think they will be. I don't think they'll hand this game to the Rovers, so looking forward to a, an entertaining game. I just want to see a performance and hopefully a result from the Rovers. So we're down at the ground, glorious weather once again. So I've, I've walked down today, got to take advantage while it's here. So hopefully it's a good Friday for the Rovers. Let's see the confirmed team lineup, get the family's thoughts and hopefully grab some Bolton fans for, for fans' thoughts as well. Confirmed team lineup, unchanged for the Rovers from the crew win. Jonathan Mitchell in goal, back four of Noel, Alowu, Roshan Williams, and Tommy Rowe. Midfield of Matt Smith, John Bostock, Adam Clayton, Aidan Barlow, and Josh Martin, with Rio Griffiths up front on his own. And then subs Jones, Younger, Jackson, Dodu, Galbraith, Garner, Odebeko. Hopefully that's an 11 and a subs bench that can get us three points, a vital three points today. Let's go and hear the family's thoughts before we go to fans' thoughts. So we're in the ground, Max is here. Quick score prediction, mate. 2-1 uh, Donny. 2-1 Donny, I've gone with 2-1 Donny as well. Chris? Yeah, I think we're going to win. They've got a few injuries, no to play for. Nice that they've actually turned up this season. Uh, and hopefully we can turn up, I think we'll be, I think it'll be a 2-1 Donny. 2-1, so that's 3-2-1. We've got Grace here. Welcome to Fans Forts against Bolton. Um, if you just introduce yourself, lads, thanks for being on the show. Start with Jesse. Jesse. That was his older brother Sam. There we go. So, a couple of lads travelled from Bolton. Hope you've had a safe journey. Hope you have a safe journey home as well. Um, you guys, do you reckon you'll be on the beach? You've pretty much missed out on playoffs this season. Yeah. Um, yeah so, definitely. nothing much to play for. No, We've got everything to play for, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But um, for us, yeah, there's not much in it now. It's just try and finish off the season as best as you can so then the next season you start off. That's it, like just as well, hopefully. So. Yeah. On next season, do you think it'll be a push for top six? I mean, you're not a million miles away this season. First season back in in, in League One, so playoffs should be achievable next season. I feel, you like, think? I feel like we could have pushed for top six if you know we've had a huge injury crisis this season. Like it seems every month, but if we sign a few more players and just play the same way with less injuries, yeah, I think we're. But there's there's going to be a lot of good clubs in the league next year. I know there's a lot of good clubs now, but I think the likelihood is Ipswich are probably still going to be down here with us Wednesday, maybe. Yeah, and Sunderland then possibly. Sunderland, Derby. Derby. Yeah. So to sign players, it'll be a lot more difficult than it was a few years ago to win the league one because there's so many more attractive clubs. Yes, days, so. spot on with that. Um, in my preview, I've gone with one to watch as Athelion. Am I about right there? Yeah, you guys know your club better than what I do. Yeah, I think he's starting the last couple of weeks, but I think he's going to be back today. Yeah, top, top assist and yeah. goal scorer, I think yeah. he's up there as well. Definitely so. goal scorer, but yeah. But, um, Watch out for Dion Charles as well. He needs goal, he's been on a bit of a drought, but yeah. Yeah, and we know all about Kieran Sadlier as well. He's yeah, yeah. kind of hot and cold, Kieran Sadlier, but coming up against your ex club, they're normally on score sheet, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wicked. So just to finish off, I've gone with a, a tight 2 1 to the Rovers. We need the win. 
to try and stay in this division. Hoping you guys have got your flip flops on, but gears a score prediction for today. I reckon two now. Always, I'm always pessimistic, but I've got one nil, one just. Yeah. There we go. So a couple of Wanderers wins. I, I hope you're wrong. <laughs> but I hope you have a good day nonetheless. Cheers, lads. Have a good one. Bolton's got away with, 
Rio Griffiths has been brought down on the edge of the box and for me he's last man who's got a yellow card. Been poor, poor officiating in this game and I don't want to I don't want to slag referees off because they've got a tough job, but that is poor, very, very poor. I think two men should have been sent off the ball today. Slagging off when the good decisions like that. Yeah. But good chance to get back into this. Come on, Bozzy.